a blessed day and welcome this morning we will be meditating on the book of psalms chapter 34 and verse 4 i sought the lord and he answered me he delivered me from all my fears yesterday we learned that we ought to seek the lord and his wisdom rather than our own solutions this morning we learned that when we seek god he answers us in fact the lord we worship is not deaf nor blind to the situation he knows a word even before you speak it his understanding is infinite did you know that one of the sins god detests his idolatry do you know why because idols cannot be compared to the living god in fact it is an insult to compare anything that is dead to our god imagine if someone called you a pot made of clay how would you feel idols can't answer they can't see our challenges or respond to us when in need only the living god responds to the cry of his own there are two types of idolatry that which is seen and that which is unseen today many have created idols in the form of both men women reptiles and unidentified objects my question is how can we say for certain this is the same look that the person had in those days there were no cameras to capture images precious ones let's ponder on this for a moment some others worship invisible idols such as wealth money houses members of family friends past pain etc hideyoshi a japanese warlord who ruled over japan in the late 1500s commissioned a colossal state of buddha for a shrine in koyoto it took 50000 men 5 years to build but the work was scarcely been completed when the earthquake of 1596 brought the roof of the shrine crashing down and wrecked the statue in a rage hideyoshi shot an arrow at the fallen colossus i put you here at great expense he shouted and you can't even look after your own temple precious ones It is time to examine our priorities and turn to the living God. If there is any form of idolatry in our lives, let us ask the Holy Spirit to reveal it to us and let us refrain from worshipping anything other than the living God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you are the only living and true God. May this be a remembrance forever and ever in Jesus name I pray Amen Shalom Maranatha